Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Destiny and I love to paint furniture. I picked up this stunning MCM dresser from a garage sale for only $25. And when I saw it, I knew it had so much potential. I was so excited about it. Little did I know how much work this was actually going to take Honestly, this was probably um, the longest project I have ever worked on. It has taken so much time. You will see. Y'all, I was so excited to start this project. I didn't even clean it first. I just jumped right in. But I do eventually clean it. The next thing I did was lay the dresser on its back so that I could get to the base to unscrew it because we are going to remove this paint. This dresser had a ton of texture from brush strokes um, because it was a latex paint. So I grabbed my sander to see how easy it would be to sand it off the texture. And this is when I realized that this was going to be a huge project. Honestly, I think it took me about four days to scrape all the paint off and that doesn't even include sanding to make it smooth. This was a labor of love.
And then I saw this and I was devastated because I absolutely wanted to stain the top, but this um, veneer was damaged. Um, and then I saw this. So I was just super sad. I was thinking maybe I could get creative and still stain the top um, and just kind of paint this area. Um, but it would have been extra hard because this black circle um, is kind of like in the middle of the top. So it would have been really hard to like paint something to make it look nice. So back to the drawing board. And this random nail on the inside of the drawer, I don't know, kind of threw me off. Weird. I highly recommend using steel wool for this part, but I didn't have any, so I just used rag. It was not very efficient though. Anyways, I told you I'd get around to cleaning it, so I'm cleaning it now, even though I'm just gonna peel all the paint off, so make it make sense. I was very determined to try to sand out the texture, but with latex paint, it just peels. Um, so the more you sand, the more it peels, and it's just, it's a mess. So that's why I have just been scraping it all, all off, because you can't get around it. You have to completely remove all of the paint in order to not have any texture under your new paint.
Now that I got more of the paint off, you could really see how damaged this area is. And it was just really unfortunate because as I continued to work, I just found more and more spots that were just damaged. So I had to change my plan over and over and over again. And honestly, I was feeling very defeated with this project. So as you saw, this dresser has a lot of damaged veneer, so I am using Bondo. It is a two-part epoxy that you use a liquid hardener, um, and you have to work pretty quickly because this starts to set up as soon as you mix it together. Uh, work in small batches also. This was a big problem spot. I actually ended up filling this two more times. Uh, I didn't record it though, um, but it was very raised, so I wanted to make sure that the Bondo was actually covering it. But this is where I want to um, just take the time to apologize for not posting very much uh, these past couple months. Well, not at all, really. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Guys, life just happens sometimes, and I've had a lot going on, so um, I have a three-year-old who takes up so much of my time, um, so I will try to be better about posting more often, um, but he is my priority, um, so I will try harder. And with that being said, um, how do you guys feel about like crafting videos? Is that something you guys would be interested in? Um, I've kind of picked up a little keychain hobby, making keychains. Um, let me know if you're interested because I do have a little bit of footage that I can um, edit and turn into a video if you like let me know
that's it. That's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Be on the lookout for part two, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.